Today, we are going to learn about linear inequalities. First, we are going to represent these inequalities on a number line. x is less than or equal to 2. Because the 2 is included, we will draw a shaded circle. Everything less than 2 is represented by an arrow going towards negative infinity. Let's label this and we're done. Next question. x is less than 5. We have a number line, label 5. Now the 5 is not included. We have an empty circle. Everything less than 5 pointing towards negative infinity and label the top next. x is larger or equal to minus 3. We label minus 3. Minus 3 is included. And now we have an arrow pointing towards positive infinity. And the last one for this question is x is between minus 2 and 4. We label the minus 2 and 4. Minus 2 is not included. The 4 is included because we have an equal sign under the inequality and everything else in between. Label our diagram and we're done. Sometimes you're going to come across set notation. And these set notations are represented by these curly brackets that we have here. The first part means the set of all x values. And the second part is simply reading off the inequalities. To represent this mathematical notation in words, we have the set of all x values such that x is less than or equal to 0. In part b, we are going to do the opposite. We are going to use set notation using these curly brackets to represent the set of all x values such that x is greater than 6. The set of all x values such that x is greater than 6. And we close the set notation. Where x is an integer, find the smallest value of x. If you know how to solve simple linear equations, you can solve this too. First, we subtract 3 from both sides, and then we have 4x is larger than 2. Divide by 4, x is larger than half. Now, the question is asking us that out of this range of values, we need to pick the smallest value of x. To understand this better, I'm going to draw a number line. Half is not included, but everything greater it is included. Which one is the first whole number? The smallest out of all of this is 1. So final solution, x is equal to 1. For point b, we are going to use a similar method to solve it. First, we subtract 1 from both sides. We have minus 5x larger or equal to 2, but we need 1x. We have to divide by minus 5. Now, there is a very, very important thing that you must remember. Whenever you're dividing by a negative number and you're solving inequalities, you must, must switch the sign of the inequality around. So dividing or multiplying by a negative switch the sign. It's very, very, very important. x is less than or equal to 2 over minus 5. This is x less than or equal to minus 0 0.4. Minus 0 0.4 is included and everything less than that is also included. The largest whole number from this list is minus 1. Therefore, the solution is x equals minus 1. And once again, remember, when we are dividing or multiplying by a negative number, we must switch the inequality sign. When we have more complex inequalities, like the last two questions, we have to split them into two parts. And now we will solve both of these inequalities separately. Minus 1 from both sides, that gives us minus 8 less than 
2x. Next, we divide by 2. This will give us minus 4 less than x. For the next side, again we have minus 1 from both sides. That will give us 2x less than or equal to 4. Divide by 2. That is x less than or equal to 2. To merge this together, we are going to use the help of a number line. To represent x is larger than minus 4, we have an empty circle and we have the x values going all the way to positive infinity. 2 is included, so we have a shaded circle and everything that is less than 2 is also included. The final solution will be given by this overlap. It's between minus 4 and 2, where it's less than or equal to 2, but larger than minus 4. Let's apply the same method to solve the last question. We first split the inequality in two separate parts. Minus 1 less than 3x minus 1 over 4 and 3x minus 1 over 4 less than or equal to 2. We multiply by 4, that will give us minus 4 less than 3x minus 1, so we got rid of the fraction. Add 1 to both sides, this will give us minus 3 less than 3x. Finally, we divide by 3, and that is minus 1 less than x. For the next part, again times by 4, which will give us 3x minus 1 less than or equal to 8 plus 1, 3x, less than or equal to 9, divide by 3, x, less than or equal to 3. To show this on a number line, we have x is larger than minus 1, minus 1 is not included, so we have an empty circle, when everything that is larger than minus 1 is included. And for the second part, everything less than 3 or equal to 3 is equal to x. The overlap here will give us the solution. And the x is in between minus 1 and 3. The minus 1 is not included. The 3 is included. 